For our last egg station, we're going to be talking about dairy cows. Everybody loves dairy products. When you think of dairy products, you might think of ice cream or yogurt, milk or cheese, and all those products come from dairy cows. And we're going to actually take a look at a dairy farm that is here in Iowa in Scott County, which is so close to your school. So let's get started and let's go visit the farm. Welcome to Cinnamon Ridge Dairy Farm. We get our name from the color of the Jersey dairy cattle. Cinnamon is the color of the Jersey dairy cattle. Ridge is because we are on a ridge that goes all the way through Scott County. The ridge has been formed by the glacier that ended right here about 20,000 years ago. In front of us we have very fertile soil but behind us it's sandy and rocky. So we're going to talk about our dairy cows today. These happen to be Jersey. I'm John Maxwell. I am uh, owner with Joan Maxwell of Cinnamon Ridge Farms and our daughter Amy runs the dairy. Uh, today we want to talk about what the cows eat. They eat what we call a TMR or total mixed ration. And in that ration is lots of different ingredients such as hay and, and alfalfa and corn silage and corn and soybeans. And there's a couple interesting ingredients such as cottonseed. Who would ever think that cottonseed would be eaten by cows? But it is and it's really high in fiber. Also, we feed coffee creamer uh, to the cows. And you wanna hear a joke? When a cow laughs, milk does not come out their nose. They eat the coffee creamer and it gives them extra energy to give more milk so all of us can drink a lot more milk and eat a lot more cheese in our diets because that is where milk comes from, from these girls right here, Jersey cows. How much do you think a cow eats? How much do you weigh? And think about how much you weigh, but our little ladies right here eat between 85 pounds and 100 pounds of this wonderful TMR mix every single day. And how many glasses of water are you supposed to drink a day? Four to six glasses of water? Well, these ladies drink about a bathtub full of water every single day. And guess what happens when you eat a lot of food and you drink a lot of water? Well, you guessed it. We see a lot of poop and pee around here. Let's talk about the life of a cow. They are born, they drink milk for two months. When they're two years old, they have their first baby. And that's when they go from a heifer to a cow. Having that baby starts milk production and they will milk for approximately 10 months. At the end of 10 months, they will go dry and they will be dry, meaning no milking, for two months. And then they have another baby and they will milk again for 10 months. And that cycle keeps repeating itself Average age at, for a cow at Cinnamon Ridge is approximately seven years or about five babies. But it's not unusual for them to live to be 12, 13, 14 years old. So on the farm, we average about one calf every single day. But just like any other animal, some are boys and some are girls. So we have special names for boys and girls here on the farm. So on the farm, a boy is named a bull calf and a girl is named a heifer calf. Now you'll see these right here, these were bull calves and some of them we have neutered and when they're neutered, they're called a steer. So the bulls on the farm have blue tags and the steers have yellow tags. So what do you call a sleeping bull? A bulldozer. Why do cows wear bells? It's because their horns don't work. There are five breeds of dairy cows. Holstein, Guernsey, Ayrshire, Brown Swiss, and Jerseys. Jerseys are brown. They have cute little eyes and they're the smallest of the breeds and they give the least amount of milk, but the most amount of components in the milk, such as fat and protein. And when you're making ice cream or you're making cheese, 
Jersey milk is wonderful. It's very, very delicious, and their milk is rich in solids and very nutritious milk. In our farm, we make our these uh, girls' milk into cheese, cheddar cheese and Gouda cheese, all made here at Cinnamon Ridge Farms. Why Jerseys? Because they're pretty and they give the best milk. What do the collars mean around their necks? The collars around their necks, this is her, it matches the number in her ear and the, the number is also on the side. And right here is a box that identifies who she is. So we can see how many steps she takes, how much milk she gives, or any other of those things uh, that we would want to know that is part of the management pra practice on the farm. In our dairy barn, we have about 220 cows to 230 milking every single day. Our cows get milked up to six times a day, but at least twice a day. We have around 220 cows here, and you know how we can identify our cows? Is by their name tags. We call them ear tags and we base them off of families. So if you happen to be born in the family of states, you'll have a name like Idaho, Mississippi, Alaska. But if you happen to be in the bird family, you'd have a name like Titmouse or Robin or Blue Jay. So how do the robots work? When the cows come into the robots, the robot identifies her by her collar and by hind or left ears that black box that has an RFID tag in it that is what tells the robot who just walked in. If it's been less than four hours, the cow will exit. If it's been more than four hours since she's been milked, feed will come down and the cow will start to eat the feed and that's what activates the, the robots to start milking her. The first thing is it does is it scrubs the teats that will remove any sand or any manure that might be on the teats, and it also stimulates milk letdown. Then you'll see the red lights come out. The red lights, where they cross, is where the teat is. It'll look for the break in the coverage. Those teat cups will then go on, and it takes about four to eight minutes to milk a cow. When the, when the flow starts to come out, or when the flow decreases by teat, they will drop off automatically. So the proper term is udder and teat. And after she is done milking, it'll spray a squirt of iodine on her, and which will help protect her as she goes and lays to keep any manure from infecting her udder. So each cow can come up to be milked at, at least six times a day. A cow should be milked at least twice a day and a report will show us if a cow hasn't come in. So our cows will produce over nine gallons of milk a day. How many of you drink a gallon of milk a day? And every day we produce over 1,700 gallons of milk. With that, we are the number one Jersey herd in the United States for milk production as well as fat and protein content in the milk. So this is our bulk tank. It is so large it can't even fit inside the barn. So this bulk tank will hold about three days of production for us on the farm. It is 5,000 gallons. We produce about 1,700 gallons of milk every single day. So as you can see by doing your math, that's almost three days production. The milk in there is cooled to 34 degrees. It goes from the body temperature of the cow, which is over 100 degrees, down to 34 degrees to stay good. And from here, it takes less than 48 hours before it could be on your table drinking milk. A question for you. Is cheese, when it comes out of the cow, white or yellow? The answer is, what color is the milk in your glass? White. You make it yellow with food coloring. So here at Cinnamon Ridge, we make all sorts of different kinds of cheese. This is what we call a block of cheese, and this is cheddar cheese that you would have on your sandwich, or you could slice it and bread it and make it into cheese curds, which is delicious. Also, we have different packages such as 
the, what is that? Bogey's Whiskey. Bogey's Whiskey, you can take over, Joan. Um, and then we have Gouda. Gouda is one of our favorites here at the farm as well. And we do add the food coloring to make it orange, but Gouda would be great on a grown up grilled cheese sandwich. Where does the cheese go? How does it get to you? We have different places that we sell to here at Cinnamon Ridge. Cinnamon Ridge, we have our own country covered store, which is right out here in the country on our farm. We also have North Scott Foods that we would sell to. So if you wanted to buy a bacon cheddar or a curd, you could do that. Or you could go to the I-80 truck stop and buy all sorts of cheese ready to go, ready to eat. So you're sitting in a restaurant and you say, I wonder if Cinnamon Ridge cheese is here. You could go to the machine shed and they use this block of cheese to make it into their cheddar melts or better known as cheddar melt for the shed. Or lots of different other restaurants such as Front Street or The Brew or other spots such as uh, the uh, restaurant in Donahue named The Depot also has our cheese. So enjoy lots of great cheese and delicious products. And another thing that adults like to have with their cheese is wine. And you can also find ours at Tycoga Winery just outside of DeWitt. And if you want to have cheese with your coffee, you can go to uh, the restaurant in Illinois uh, named Dead Poet Espresso. Dead Poet Espresso. So. At Cinnamon Ridge Farms, a popular cheese item is cheese curds. If you watch closely, you can see the cheese curds start to form as they rise to the surface. When the cheese rises to the surface, it will all clump together to be one big piece. Cinnamon Ridge Farms then takes it to a table and cuts it by hand into smaller little squares to be cheese curds. part of the job is really seeing all of the cattle being very healthy and being very happy and I love to go out of my office every day and just go hang with the cows and get some cow love and my very favorite dairy product is ice cream so after taking a look at the dairy farm that was at which was Cinnamon Ridge Dairy, we have an activity for us. It's called the My Farm Web. So we're gonna open up the packets that were provided for you. And you're going to see that there's a big circle and then lots of little ones. So the big circle is the farm. And we're going to put that right in the middle. And you're gonna find pictures that are uh, chicken nuggets or pop. Um, let's see, here's another good one. Footballs, basketballs. And then of course, ice cream, which we already know is a dairy product. And you're going to figure out how all these products that I've mentioned are connected to the farm. How, fill out the web and we'll see how each of them are connected, a part of agriculture. And then we'll go over it as a class. So after taking a couple of minutes to complete the My Farm Web, we are going to go over it as a class. So we have our farm right here, and that was going to be in our center. And to start off, we're going to compare the dairy and the beef cow. So you have two pictures. Now the dairy cow is going to represent um, this picture. Now these are Holsteins in the picture. In the Cinnamon Ridge Farm video, we just saw Jerseys. So that's a different breed of dairy cow. And remember, our dairy cows, like we saw, give us milk. They produce milk, and then from milk, we can transform that and produce cheese. And then we can also 
make ice cream out of milk. So dairy cows give us lots of products compared to our beef cows. Now beef cows, they give us um, meat like hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and steaks, but they also give us something else. They give us our footballs and basketballs out of their skin. The cowhide is how we get our footballs and basketballs. Now you could have also had the uh, footballs and basketballs with the pig because some of these sporting uh, balls will be made out of pigskin as well. So either of those would be correct. Another question that might be uh, tripping you up on the web would be the corn. So we have corn and pop. How are these connected? Well, corn and pop have something in common. Pop has corn syrup in it. So pop is a product of corn and that's how we get our pop is from corn syrup. That's what makes it super sweet. And then some of you might know this, but we get our gas um, from corn as well. There's ethanol in it and that is a corn product. So how you got to school today, if you might have rode the bus or if you uh, rode in the car, you were using a corn product because you put ethanol in your car. So that is some of the uh, part of the farm web, but here is an answer key. If you wanted to take a closer look, everybody will have this in their kit. So you can check your answers to make sure that everything was connected right. Also, if you guys have time, you guys can read the AgMag dairy version. So in the AgMag, it shows you um, some dairy facts. There's also some recipes in there of how to make your own butter. So be sure to check this out. Thank you so much for participating in these Ag Station videos. I'm so glad we got to bring this event to you virtually. So um, if you ever want to have a classroom visit, please reach out to me and I'd love to visit your classroom and teach more about agriculture. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time.